Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another motivational video for y'all. And this is a video for my people out there that want to know the truth. Like, you have a lot of questions and you want to ask a lot of questions, but it's like people be giving you these answers where the answer doesn't really add up. I feel you. I feel you. And I definitely know where you're coming from. You, 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 you know that like with a lot of stuff that you was told when you was in school, now that you're an adult, now that you're out here in the real world, you starting to realize that a lot of that stuff you learned in school doesn't even matter anymore. You out here working a nine to five job that you don't even love and you know something is not right. I'm here to let you know something because... I also know that a lot of you probably feel bad for wanting to know the truth, but it's like people don't want to give you, they don't really like want to give you like an accurate answer. Sometimes they don't even want to answer your question. Sometimes they may want to evade your question, but you just want to know the truth. And, and, and you see, there's artists in the music industry like XXX Tentacion and artists like Tupac that have actually spoke a lot of truth like they spoke the truth about the music industry and, and about how the government is i'm here to let you know something because i know that there's a lot of you that feel bad about wanting to know the truth about a lot of stuff especially when it comes down to religion i'm here to let you know something god is not going to punish you for wanting to know the truth and i want to give a shout out i want to give a shout out to Papa Doug, because I know Papa Doug, he, he's done videos about, you know, explaining about, you know, when it comes down to wanting to know the truth about stuff, when it comes down to like religion and stuff, because when it comes down to religion, people really do want to get in their feelings, but God is not, God is not going to punish you for wanting to know the truth, because you, you you know that what a lot of the stuff that you was told was a lie, especially the stuff that you that you learned in school. Like now that you're an adult and you're out here in the real world, you starting to realize that you were programmed, brainwashed and lied to. And just like when it comes down to a lot of these churches, what a lot of these churches where you see the preacher, where you see the pastor living in a nice, big, beautiful house, driving in a nice black Escalade, they, they wearing their robe as a preacher, and it's like they live in a good life. But but the other people, on the other hand, that come to church every Sunday, they're not really living they're not they're not really living lavish like the preacher. See, something is not really adding up there. I mean, when it comes down to a church, if if it's really a church family, like you know, everybody should be getting their fair share. You know, everybody should be helping out each other. Like, black churches, they do need to do better. But yeah, like, God is not going to punish you for wanting to know the truth. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm one of those people that's willing to speak up and speak the truth about a lot of stuff. Because, because like I said before, I'm here to help and not harm. I tell y'all that over and over again. I'm here to help you out. I'm not here to harm you, but I get it. A lot of times when it comes down to being brutally honest, it pisses people off. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm still trying to help you whether I piss you off or not. But at the same time, when it comes down to me trying to help, it's not like I'm trying to piss you off. But if you get pissed off, I, I don't really care because, I mean, I don't, I'm not about to, like, waste my energy on trying to please people. I'm not a people pleaser. If people don't really like the stuff that I talk about, if people don't really like the stuff that I rap about, then, oh, well, you know, you know, move on about your business. But for the people that do appreciate the stuff that I talk about, I appreciate y'all. Because, I mean, wanting to know the truth it, 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 it is really something that can really save you out here, especially now these days, you know, with all the stuff that's going on in, in, in this world, you know, wanting to know the truth about a lot of this information, it can it can really help you and it can really like save you out here. 
you know, now is not the time to go by the lies. Now is not the time to, you know, like to depend on on everything that the government does and that and now is also not the time to like accept everything that reality throws at you instead of in, instead of just sitting back and letting reality throw all this stuff at you why don't you throw back at reality you have what it takes you have the power you have the energy you have the potential you're gifted you know but you see the thing about it is that one of the main reasons why people don't really know what their gift is is because the school system, they got pushed through the system so hard being told that they that they got to do this, they got to do that, they got to get a good grade in this, they got to get a good grade in that. Because of the fact that you have trouble in this, you, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, stop letting people tell you no. Yeah, stop letting people tell you, no, you out here in the real world now, you're an adult. You're one of God's greatest creations. Stop letting people tell you, no, don't be afraid to try stuff. You got to try things. I mean, life is too short to just be out here and, and, and not develop a skill. Life is too short for you to just be out here and not find out what your God gift is. But God gave you a gift for a reason. But yo, you're not going to be punished for wanting to know the truth. You got a lot of questions. You're a why person. And that's cool. But you see, not everybody is willing to tell the truth. Not everybody is willing to be a truth teller. Because that's another thing, too. When it comes down to somebody like Tupac Shakur, God rest his soul, R.I.P. I mean, Tupac... Tupac was more than just a rapper, and Tupac was also more than just a poet. Tupac was a truth teller. Tupac, you know, I mean, besides him, like, getting into trouble and going to jail, like, Tupac, he spoke up about how the music industry is messed up, and there's also an old video where Tupac was speaking up about how the, how the school system be doing stuff and how they teach us information that is not really like valuable and that's another thing too i remember back back this is back when i was in elementary school there was this student that that came to school i, I was like this is back in like fourth grade there was this student he had came to school and he was wearing like a Tupac shirt. And I remember like the teacher had asked, who's that on your shirt? And the student was like Tupac, like, was that a good role model? I mean, Tupac didn't really want kids to look at him as a role model. But at the same time, I mean, I mean, when I was a kid, did I look at Tupac as a role model? No, I didn't. But now that I'm an adult, I know that like Tupac was one of those people that wasn't afraid to speak the truth. He he wanted to help people out like like Tupac, Tupac. He you know, what I mean, he wanted to help people out. Tupac, you know, he 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 wanted people to know the truth. He wanted he wanted to, to you know, to save people. You know, what I mean, but yeah, like Tupac didn't want no kids looking up to him as a role model but if a kid is wearing a tupac shirt i it's not like he's trying to be offensive i mean it's it's a shirt and and yeah like tupac tupac is like the most influential he was like the most influential hip-hop artist in the hip-hop culture is tupac one of my influences of course you know what i mean I mean, Tupac has so much influence that a lot of people, a lot of people were, 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 you know, they felt, they felt some type of way about Little Xan saying that Tupac makes boring music. And you see, that's what damaged, like, Little Xan's career. For him to diss Tupac like that, saying that Tupac makes boring music, they pretty much canceled Little Xan for that. But, yo... Yeah. But yeah, God is not going to punish you for wanting to know the truth. I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all, give y'all some more motivation. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, 
And again, my new track, No Makeup, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. If you want SoundCloud, follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love, y'all.